Hi everyone, it's Diane. I made it back. How about that? Two weeks. Woo! I'm on a roll. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to um, anyone who's new and joining my channel. And welcome back to everyone who's been hanging out with me for a while. I'm so happy you're here. I moved my one light. I'm, I don't know that it's going to help with the shadow. And today's going to be especially difficult because we're using some gold foil paper. So I'm going to have a bit of a glare anyway. <clears throat> a recently popular card that I've been seeing lately is called a fracture card. And I don't know if you've seen those. It looks like it's a, about um, four or five different pieces of paper layered together on the card base to, to make it look like the card has been cut apart and then put back together. And I was thinking, I don't want to cut up a bunch of little papers because then I always have a bunch of scraps. But I did find it's a lot easier than that. You don't have to cut out a bunch of papers. I have a friend who asked me for a 50th wedding anniversary card she needs. And so I thought, since I'm going to be doing that, I may as well just turn the camera on and give it a go. Share with you what I found out about making a fractured card. Oh, I hope everybody's doing good. We're really doing well here. So, I'm going to start with, and I don't usually typically use white for a card base, but because I'm using um, just my gold paper today, I thought white would be a pretty background. This is a half of a sheet of 8.5 by 11. This is heavy cardstock. Since I'm using it for a base, I didn't want to use the thicker cardstock. I've scored it down the center and folded it in half. And we have a four and a quarter by a five and a half inch card base. I had some pretty gold embossed paper that was called, uh, oh, I, oh, here, I was going to say I knew I set it out to tell you. This was from the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series Paper by Stampin' Up. And it had some really pretty gold embossed papers in here. So that is four inches by five and a quarter. Then, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna put this all together yet. So I may have cut some extra pieces that we may or may not use. This is a two inch square of just my gold paper. See, and there's that glare. Then I cut a square of one and three quarters inch to put on the inside. If you have square dies, you can cut your, your paper with your dies. You're layering the smaller one inside the larger. Yeah, that's not going to help at all. Here, let's move it back. And then I cut some quarter inch strips and this really came in handy because a lot of times you have those little strips of paper that you cut off when you're trying to make your four by five and a quarters or whatever. And I don't know about you, but I save, I save everything <laughs> for a weekend. I keep everything. And then we have these, so I cut them to a quarter inch and we're going to layer them on here. But I didn't know if I was going to like the gold next to the gold. So I cut some quarter inch white strips as well and I thought I may layer these like so we're going to put a white one and a gold one here and then this white one has to come up to the end of the end of this white one I don't have to move stuff around so I can see what I'm doing when we go to glue things down We'll line that up and line another gold strip. Come here. Oh, I see. It's a good thing we're laying this out first. Because we want our points to meet. And not stick to fingers. And you know with foil paper, when we go to start gluing, if you get glue on your foil, it's going to leave little marks, so I want to kind of know what I'm doing here first. 
And then we can use a baby wipe if I do make a mess and try to clean it off, but I'd rather try to not make that mess. So I guess we'll glue the whites on first. Yeah, I think I'm going to want a white border around it. <clears throat> and then we'll add our gold border around that. And then we'll trim off our edges, of course, so that they're even with our panel. And then I used um, Playful Alphabets. And I die cut a 50 out of there, out of the gold paper using those Alphabet dies. I tried to do some of the little parts off camera so that we could concentrate on building the card. And I thought I could put that in the center. I'm not sure yet because I also... Is that an O or a zero? I really thought it was the zero, but now that it's sitting there, I'm not quite sure. Um, well, they look pretty much the same, to be honest. I think they are the same, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's an O or a zero, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so that. And then, from Love and Happiness, I gold embossed celebrating your anniversary. I did it on a small piece of heavy white cardstock because I don't know if I want to put it on the front. And I also did it um, on my inside panel because I wasn't sure which way I wanted to use this. But I already have the gold cut. I was going to say, I guess we could have used this and done our fractured lines around it. I don't know. We'll set that aside and think about it. I'm going to put my 5 and my 0 back into my... Oh, see, that is the zero, because the O's are different. No wonder those O's look the same. They were the same. Here, let's put these back so I don't drop one on the floor and spend months looking for it. Okay. Oh, that's everyone. Finishing up summer. I think this will be pretty. All right, let's, let's start by, and I'm not going to glue this panel down until we have everything laid out. So, kind of have to start at the top and work our way down. Yep, we've been having some cooler, cooler nights here. They're actually wonderful. I love sleeping at night with the windows open when it's nice and cool. And it's not a humid, cool it's um, nice and crisp. Feels beautiful. Okay. Hubby's doing great. He is um, working a couple days a week, just a few hours a day. Not full time yet, but he's doing so much better. He still tires out really quick, so we kind of wanted her, him and try to make him settle down and, and quit doing so much. But, you know, um, <clears throat> hubbies can be stubborn. I was looking for my, there we are. A trick for when you are die cutting foil if you're like me, your cutting plates on your boards may be pretty scratched up. If you try to die cut foil with this on top of your foil paper, you're going to get all those little lines. So I usually just grab a piece of scrap paper, whatever I have up here. It can be um, copier paper. It can be a thinner weight cardstock. I laid it 
on top of my dies and then ran it through and I didn't get any of the little lines. It's nice and smooth. So a trick to remember <clears throat> so you don't get marks all over. Now if we can do this and not get glue all over, I will feel like a big girl today. Oh, my tip came out of there. Look at that. Set that five on there so I can make sure I knew where I was going. Sorry, concentrating here. Try, I'm trying really hard not to get glue on my foil. I just don't like it when I do that. I get so mad at myself. Poor fans. So what's everybody working on? Are you starting holiday stuff? You like um do you like how and I'm using liquid glue because I, I am using foil and I'm afraid that this might not stick on everything, so I don't want my card to fall apart. Are you big Halloween fans? Do you um Do you make Halloween cards? I do make some Halloween cards. Now I gotta think for a minute glue before I put this down. If I put this on here, Maybe I have to do this side, and then this side, and then that side. Hmm. Is that how that's going to work? Help me out here. All the ones that I looked at only had one border around it. So if I put this here... See what I was kind of hoping to do Maybe I have to go like that. It's like a puzzle. Oh, see, I got glue. No, I was gonna say. I was just a white fuzzy. I say, how could I have gotten glue? I didn't even put any glue on there yet. So we want to make sure that this goes the whole way across the card. 
and the white. Am I making sense? Aren't you happy that you're doing one of these with me? Well, it's my first try. Does it work? Okay. See, I thought I had everything all planned out, but I really didn't, did I? Paper doesn't slide around very well on the background paper that I have laying down here, but I try to keep a solid base on my table so that it's easier to see. Try to reduce some of the glare. Before you know it, it'll be time to start Christmas cards. Ah, how about that? Christmas. Now we can add the gold. Should I snip those first? I suppose so, huh? Oh, not with my ribbon scissors though. Paper snips, paper snips. Pretty even with just the white, but I really want the gold on there. What's a 50th anniversary without gold, right? <clears throat> I don't know if you guys were with me last week when I was on here. I told you we just celebrated our 40th anniversary. So that's pretty cool. Come on, come back, light. Is glue for a minute. It is glue. Oh, no, no, no. Squeeze it out. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good, good. Good. And I don't want, I don't want a smeary gold piece. Put the other end on. Less glue. I'm going to snip it off so I don't get any of that glue on my other one. Light hand with the glue. It's a fine line between too much and it's not going to stick, you know? Uh, 
I'll have to hold this up. Oh, there you can see it a little bit now. You can say I'll have to hold this up afterwards to get away from this light so you can actually see how it's working. Just have to keep it off to the side, maybe. Be wiping my hands off in between here so I don't get any more on there. <sighs> Silly girl. This was one of those cards when I first saw it. I was thinking, I, I don't know if I like it. And then I kept going back to it. You know, with the The layout and I figured if I kept going back and looking at it I'm, I must be liking it so that is why I decided to give it a try Some glue coming out under here. Okay. So do you like that with the lines on there fractured, as it's called? You could do this with, um, just trying to get my glue thing back in there. You could do this with a panel on the back that you have put through an embossing folder. That would be pretty. Let's see, where's my base? Oh, I think I do like it. I do. Should I add more? What do you think? I, don't, I think I have some like gold um, leafy die cuts I could add. I'm just setting this off to the side to glue the back because I have glue on this paper. Oh, of course. I can remember where I have those. Oh, let me see, I have a bunch of die cut stuff. I don't think those are my foily ones. I tend to cut out extra pieces when I'm die cutting little bits. They do come in handy. When I was making um, all the thank you notes to send to uh, my husband's co-workers when they had sent meals and stuff here for us, I used a lot of these. Hmm, there's little ones in there. Maybe I used all of them. I don't maybe we don't even want to add a whole lot more. Keep it more elegant, huh? A little glue border back there. Uh, 
I also wanted to put in here wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. Now the problem is can I stamp that on there straight without messing up my embossing? Because I just was going to do that with some black ink. Two mementos. I think one of them needed re-inked. So let's let's do a practice stamp here. Never a bad idea. I'm also trying to see if I'm stamping straight. I think it's pretty good. Or am I tilted a little? Hmm, I think it's pretty good. Can she do it on the real card? Everybody, cross your fingers. Now is out of Forever Blossoms, just in case you are interested. Maybe you have some of these Stampin' Up sets. Well, I have an extra little greeting there if I need that for another card. she likes this one I have an idea for another one I'll have two so she can pick from them but this is how I learned how to do a fractured card and I wish I could just make um, it not ah, that helps right can you see the gold shiny I like it that's it you guys look at that under half an hour so that really wasn't a hard card to make granted I did have the stuff cut out ahead of time but the measurements were simple, and they'll be in the description box here. So if you need to make one on your own, you'll have them handy. Everybody have a lovely day. Thanks for popping by to do another quick card, and I will try to see you next week again. Bye.